My name is Blair Wilson, I'm 21 years old. To the people that use language like this and treat other people like the way I was treated, we're not going to tolerate it in 2018. Yeah, I was down visiting my mum. Um, she had said that she had dinner ready for me, so and she only lives 10 minutes down the road. So I went down to hers, started walking back up the road. My mum told me to avoid the main street, but I didn't. Um, and I seen people at the bus stop, so I crossed the road um, went on my phone to kind of distract attention from myself and I heard someone shout "Ho, you're a poof and at first I just laughed because I thought what makes you think you can say that to me I was gonna walk away but I had a moment where I was like I shouldn't be letting this happen in the place where I've lived for 21 years of my life and um, so I walked over to the people that shouted it and I just asked why I wasn't physical or anything I just was curious to know why they felt the need to shout that at someone that was minding their own business. That's when I think his girlfriend came up and says, um, I'm sorry he's just drunk and I says you need to watch out for him, hen, and then he says you can't call girls hen because that's disrespectful. Um, Anna says but you just called me a poof and your pal called me a faggot. So I just started to walk away at that point because there was no reasoning. Um, that's when he followed me and was saying things behind me so I turned around and then he kicked me in my chest and then punched me in the nose um, and that's when my nose started bleeding. Someone from the pub across the road ran across and um, kind of broke it up and says just go home, just go home and that's what I done. I was shocked and scared and I did not know who to talk to. I knew that if I put it on Facebook it would at least get some shares around Neilston. So I just smiled, took the photo, um, wrote a kind of bittersweet message and um, hoped for the best. <laughs> After I put the post up I seen um, that it was getting quite a lot of attention, like I think it got a hundred likes um, by the time I had like got home and dealt with everything, phoned the police etc. Waking up the next day I think it was at like 1,500 likes and like 500 shares, it was it was immense. I had comments from people all over the world saying how much they looked up to me and how needed that story was. I believe he said what he said because he was trying to prove something if not to himself than to his girlfriend and friends around him. I do believe that's a common thing we see around the country but I do think that the majority is more accepting and much more loving. I think it definitely is a small minority of people that are left that think like that. There was two days after that happened that I just didn't leave the house. I didn't feel like I wanted to be outside. I didn't feel safe but after seeing how many people, um, not only in Neilston, not only in like Barhead, but in Glasgow and around the world, were like giving me so much support, I just realised there's no reason to be scared.